Welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. That's Zydeco in the background. Uh, we're down here uh, for Super Bowl 47 in New Orleans in the Big Easy. And look who showed up. A little, bit, a little bit more I had to Jersey. Come by. I had to come by. After last year, you know, we were sitting behind a little round table. We had potato skins. Literally. You know, we were there was on like a... six of us. And now you have your own god darn building. It's unbelievable, dude. They built me a building. It's... You got this a bathroom some... and everything with toilet paper. They didn't have that last year. It's this crazy. is some real North Jersey Italian stuff. This is, this is all money's going right out the back door. Okay, it's unbelievable. I'm not going to build this. I'm going to pay somebody. You got a bit. crew here. You got a crew. Every made member of the Lucchese family is here, by the way. Well, uh, half of them. We got, we got a, we're getting all the cameras out the back door if this doesn't work out. Your uh, brothers are here. What's up, guys? Yeah, everybody's uh, here. And, and the, the, the pilot, Anthony Pepitone, who I've been yeah. uh, in a plane with, the only pilot ever from Belleville, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust that. <laughs> How you doing, we man? We Quake Park used to land in. That's where. He yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's I'm doing we, good. I'm we doing Quake good. Park. Yeah, a lot of good things going on. The week, yeah. you know, excited about the Ravens. Yeah, the Ravens. And, yeah. Okay, now you, obviously you're a legendary Baltimore Raven. How do you feel about? How do you feel about the chances? They're the underdogs, not by much. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. Yeah, yeah. I think that uh, this Kaepernick kid scares me a little bit. He's but what a, about the pistol offense? Is that the real thing or what? You know, I'm not really a big guy. You know, the pistol. You know, I'm. I, yeah. They you're spend, gonna, if you're going to run the ball, you can't be in the shotgun. I just, I'm not a big fan of the pistol offense. Yeah, it, they, they explained that for like 15 minutes on Sports Center today. Trent Dilfer right. and uh, Merrill Hodge and Stuart Scott. Yeah, they're and I, I don't have any idea what they were talking about. Yeah, they're really smart. I don't, I, I don't really watch that. <laughs> they're really um, you know, they, 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 you know, last time we talk about a pistol in Jersey, somebody's getting shot. You know, it's, uh, <laughs> it just doesn't. I, I don't understand. See, it, I think though, I think Kaepernick is going to get out into the secondary there and run around. I think it's going to be trouble well, for I, your guys. You know, I, I think that the big thing that you know, that the defensive line for the Ravens, and everyone should really look at this for the game, is uh, those inside guys, Lodi Nada. I mean, they got to make sure that they don't have any big gaps for Kaepernick to go up and, you know, up and through because I think, you know, you know Ray is a great player. Don't, don't think, I can't take anything away from him. But he, I mean, legendary Hall of Famer, yeah. Speed-wise, He's I mean, lost a few, yeah, probably, He's sure. going to, you know, he, he doesn't want to race Kaepernick or try to trace him down because yeah. he won't be able to. So they really got to go and, you know, do some bull rushing and, and keep that pocket as tight as they can keep it and let Kaepernick go and throw from the, you know, throw, throw from the pocket and uh, stop Frank Gore. That's that's what they have to do. Stop do Frank Gore is the bigger thing, right? Big thing, big, yeah. big, big, uh, now, big. If someone came to you in the right. prime of your career and said they extracted something from a deer's antler, right. would you put it in your body? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Ray you know, Lewis, he, he does. I, he finds I didn't say no. <laughs> <laughs> he finds controversy. Here's my thought about steroids, like especially with baseball. Okay, let's let's concentrate on that. Right. If if you're a guy who's hitting 40 home runs a year and you take steroids to hit 51, you're a jerk off. If it means either being a major league baseball player or a bouncer at a strip club, I would do it in a heartbeat. I would right. say, what do I put anything in me? <laughs> you know, Absolutely. But, 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 but it's when the superstars do it that it doesn't make sense to me. Like, well, they're always looking for the edge. You know, guys right. don't really want to. And I'm not saying, listen, I'm not coming out saying anybody took anything. I, I don't know any right, of the right, facts. Right, you right. Know, everyone, all this is hypothetical because I, I, yellow journalism is very rampant down here, especially oh, in New Orleans. Day, this week. This, this is my second, my second. It's crazy. And I'm part of it. Yeah. No, my, 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 it's my <laughs> second year going to media day. It is so ridiculous. Oh, it's, it's, you got guys in superhero costumes and uh, it's, it's not, it's, there's no dignity, no, which is why I fit in. It's totally, it's totally crazy. So yeah. the, the stories get blown up. But the one thing that I think people have to realize is when you get into the NFL, you compete, and that's all you want to do is compete. And when you start losing the edge, you'll do anything. Work out more. Eat beans. Right. If somebody tells you to chew on bark and it's going to go and, and help you, yeah. you know, run faster, you do it. You know even, what I'm saying? Even, you try some, to, even like stuff like, uh, you know, like uh, superstitious stuff, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I wore the same, you know, T-shirt for 12 years in the NFL. Same one that's under horrifying. my pads. And <laughs> ate the same thing. All right, and I never washed it. You know, I, I didn't. <laughs> it, smells good. it still smells like B.O. It's unbelievable. Now, Brent, I don't know if you realize, Brent's from Kansas. I don't yeah. know if you could tell that. Yeah. yeah. Brent, uh, Kansas State grad. <laughs> um, Obviously, they got you everything here, but they didn't get you a tanning bed for your guest. Huh? Thanks. <laughs> a little pale. Thanks, but we can I never guy. get that. You I never good. get that. You look yeah, good. no, I'm light. I'm light. Yeah. That's what I try to bring the looks to the show a little bit. No, you but, do. Um, <laughs> we needed that. We were yeah. we were almost we were the ugliest show in Delaware. He's hot. Thanks, yeah. Tony. You're You're hot. Hot. Afterwards, we'll have a couple of drinks. No, that's um, okay. What about what you about? Got in trouble to... for that yesterday, didn't you already? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so what do you think about? I mean, that? what do you think? What about do I think Chris, about what? Chris Culliver. <laughs> I mean, uh, what do you think about the fact that that one day uh, th there might be a, an openly gay player in the NFL? What does that sound like to you? Well, you know, there's, you know, there was. Uh, 
I think that it's probably going to happen. Right. You know, I, I, you know I've met, We're going I met some guys road, who are obviously. gay that are pretty tough guys that right. I wouldn't really mess well, with. Well, this guy yeah. we just talked to, yeah. that's for the Tuolo, absolutely. You know, man. I mean, but, uh, you know, listen, it is what it is, and you just can't, you know, you can't be. Uh, the world know, is changing. You know, worry about that stuff. Right. Yeah, you know, right. it's like, you know, whatever. Whatever you are, whatever, just don't touch me. Don't have it any to do with me. Right. And, you know, not, don't be Everybody homophobic stay- or anything like that. Just, you know, whatever the guy is, he is. You know, Everybody stay to There's a lot of weirdos in the NFL. Well, listen, I play with a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't just be gay. It could be, you know. Right, guys, you know, pick their nose, and eat their nose. I mean, I don't want you to touch me. You Comedy too. Yeah, you know, it could be whatever. Right, it, it's not about gay or straight. You don't want any anybody just going yeah. there. Yeah, all you weirdos. <laughs> you know, they said it best in stripes. Any you, you know weirdos. Or, <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you. Those were the old days of comedy. <laughs> Absolutely. I wanted to ask you about Joe Flacco and the way this guy rolled the dice. I mean, you could go back like six weeks ago and say, holy smokes, I don't right. want this guy in Baltimore. You know, well, but now he's going to make 18 to $20 million based on. It seems like over the last couple of years, uh, you know, every team, if you look at the Giants last year, you know, after 14 games, they're 7-7. Seven and seven. Coughlin's looking, you know, everyone wants to go and get him fired. He winds up in the Super Bowl. Right. Um, Joe Flacco, was I, have I been sold on him? Uh, not really. You know, I, you know, I think the game is played with emotion, but I think the quarterback position is, is, is a different kind of position. Um, I think the receivers around him, I think Anquan Bolden, really Joe should go out and really buy him a, a really nice present, a car oh, yeah, I, I agree or with something. It. Yeah. Because he throws the ball up and Anquan just goes up, boom, and, and snatches it out of, out of the air. And yeah, that's he makes him look really well. I right. mean, you know, he, Joe's really surrounded by some really good players. I mean, you know, Ray Rice is, uh, you know, he runs the ball hard. He's His great. offensive line is good. I mean, he's got really all the components. And Ozzie Newsome, G- general manager who was there when I was there, just did a, a, a phenomenal job of, of, of getting that all done. So um, I think that, you know, you have to look when, when, you're, when, you're, when you're looking at a quarterback position, don't mess it up. You know what I'm saying? Go out there, get, get some points on the board, let your defense play, play defense, and, uh, and stop the run. Frank Gore, you got to stop Frank Gore, stop, man. Now, Frank Gore, the, the, he's, <laughs> see, he's lost. He runs mean, this no, guy, he, man. He, he's, I, I, I'm glad you said he's that. He's, he's lost in this whole thing. Oh. Everybody's talking about Kaepernick. That guy's a tough running Listen back, to man. You, you know, they, you know they, they want to talk about quarterbacks and stuff like that, and, and Adrian Peterson went and get, you know, got the Vikings into the playoffs. It's, yeah. It's, you, you know, the running back is a vital, vital part of, of winning in the postseason. And post it creates season. passing, yeah. yeah. You, know, it, 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 you know, if you can get those linebackers and those defensive backs to go and get nervous and worried about the run, and all of a sudden they make two or three steps up, and all of a sudden Anquan Bolden or, you know, one of the other receivers is by him, that's, that's the difference in the game. Yeah, so yeah. the run game is something that you have to stop. When I played in Baltimore, we had the best defense ever in the National Football League. It was. Those I were, mean, that, that was I don't impressive. care what you say. You know, we won five games. No one scored any touchdowns. We won three to five games what we did every week is number one we're going to stop the run and we didn't have a hundred yard rusher i mean it was you know we had a, i don't even know if we have the record we might even have the record for the you know least no amount one. of guys to ever have a hundred yards yeah, yeah something. right, you know, right. i mean whatever. when you were like with the giants were in 86 the bears in 85 yeah. the best teams ever were all about day if you can run you know and offensively if you can run the ball you, you have a weapon as all we right. saw with minnesota this absolutely year, right yeah. You don't need to have receivers. If you have a running game, you can still do some, some damage. All right. Well, listen, uh, Tony That's Zaragoza. It. That's here. it. The, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no we, sorry, we, okay. we only got another 10 minutes I wanted, of the show. I wanted to see the guy with the washboard playing the spoons. That was cool. <laughs> that was, that was okay, nice. You know what? I want to put that on and say I have a washboard stomach. I want to walk around the big <laughs> yeah, easy and try to get laid. No, we're not going to do that. Uh,